Today, we will discuss a special person. A man who was a self-made billionaire and didn't start out with money. He was not rich and famous from birth, yet through total diligence, skill, and sharpness, he rose to occupy the second richest position on the planet. This great individual made every chance a success by exerting all his determination and dedication. Can you guess who? He is the founder of Amazon. Yeah, you guessed it right. He's Jeff Bezos. On 12th of January, 1964, he was born in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ted Jorgensen, father of Jeff, had his own bike business, and his mother Jacqueline, she was just 17 years old when he was born. However, with his parents' divorce, it was a completely new scenario for him. In April 1968, Jacqueline married Mike Bezos, a Cuban. At the age of four, Mike took Jeff into his custody legally, and thus became his legal father. It was at that point when Jeff dropped his last name from Jorgensen and adopted Bezos instead. He was born brilliant, sensibly gifted at a very young age. He finished his secondary education in Miami Palmetto High School, Florida. Moreover, he was a chef at McDonald's when he was in college. He has been in the student science program at the University of Florida since that time. He was a well-rounded student who was honored with the Silver Knight Award for Science, as well as a National Merit Scholar and Valedictorian. In his graduation ceremony, he touched on his vision of people residing in space as one day being a reality. Jeff obtained a 4.2 GPA when he graduated from Princeton University in 1986, majoring in electrical engineering and computer science. He started his way from different jobs, the same way as most of them do. He got good offers from renowned companies like Bell Labs, Intel, and Anderson Consulting, but he chose to join a startup Fitel in the telecommunications field. He was tasked with this and his mission was to implement a global market network for the trade. Jeff was highly motivated and was promoted quickly in Fitel, where he held positions such as head of development and director of customer service. Nonetheless, he came to the conclusion he needed a change and therefore moved to the banking sector where he worked in the capacity of a product manager at Bankers Trust from 1988 to 1990. In 1990, he took a step forward and went to another hedge fund Shaw and Company. He was particularly noted for his abilities in mathematical modeling and was promoted to senior vice president at the age of 30. In fact, the story of Jeff Bezos really is like a novel. It is truly an adventure. On July 5, 1994, he took a courageous step to start the Amazon company from the garage of his house after resigning from D.E. Shaw. It is amazing how he brainstormed the entire business strategy in his mind while traveling from New York City to Seattle by car. Then, as a first step, he borrowed $300,000 from his parents and used it in his business. The risk was high. However, the people who actually gave me the first money were my parents, who are with me today. Hold on before moving any further. Make sure you subscribe for more such videos. They contributed approximately $300,000 that was much of their capital. In 1998, Bezos started to branch out launching the company into e-commerce services, offering video and music too. By the end of that year, Amazon had diversified its product portfolio into many consumer goods and products. The objective of Jeff's invention was to make it simple to read, not only to sell the products. To this end, he launched the Amazon Kindle in 2007 as a device that would be dedicated solely to readers. Jeff Bezos, the head and founder of Amazon, had a $600 million deal with the CIA for Amazon Web Services. Amazon grew to be the world's largest online retailer in 2015. While Bezos experienced hardship in 2000, he also had some challenging moments. The company's cash balance now stood at a dismal $350 million. He borrowed $2 billion from banks to bring back normalcy. Nevertheless, they did too much hurried buying, and Amazon teetered on the brink of bankruptcy. Bezos had to take not an easy route, like closing down distribution locations and letting go of 14% of the staff. However, that was the most difficult period in my life. Every time I thought I was at the bottom, I would find the courage to stand up and move on. After struggling with the financial issues, Amazon made a huge comeback in 2003, reaching an amazing $400 million profit. In contrast, ex-US President Donald Trump accused Jeff Bezos and Amazon of anti-business practices and not paying sales taxes. 
The accusation made against Bezos resulted in him losing $10.7 billion worth of personal worth. However, the loss for Bezos started to be recouped when a study from Stanford University revealed that the influence of Trump on the regulatory framework of Amazon was relatively small. Despite being the target of harsh criticism, Bezos launched a tremendous effort on October 2nd, 2018. It is a great stride when he announced that Amazon will be raising the minimum pay of American employees from the current $15 an hour. Bezos earned $600 million in May 2016 after he sold 1 million of his company's shares. On August 4, 2016, he sold some of his shares for a total amount of $700 million. In 2011, one year after the launch of its fulfillment centers, the online retail giant hired around 130,000 workers for its distribution sites. In 2019, the value of Amazon stock went over $109 billion, and this enormous money encouraged Bezos to sell stocks in order to have money for his other ventures. He made a large portion of his fortune on Blue Origin, the company's largest profit to date, amounting to a staggering $2 billion was reported on the first day of February 2018. By March of that year, his fortune was estimated to be over $112 billion, reported Forbes, and thus he became the richest person in the world. Jeff Bezos' remarkable real estate properties. He has a penthouse at 212 Fifth Avenue NYC that he bought for 80 millions. The historic textile museum is another significant landmark of the city. It is $23 million, making it the biggest home in D.C., the nation's capital. The bachelor billionaire reportedly paid an outstanding $165 million to acquire the luxurious Hollywood villa owned by billionaire David Geffen. This transaction can be considered the biggest deal in California's real estate market history. Bezos is known to be the owner of some of the most advanced tech cars in the world. The Sergio of the Ferrari Pininfarina, which is worth $3 million, is also a famous specimen. This device that blends together up-to-date technology and a user interface that is easy to use is simply perfect. The Bugatti Veyron Mansory, an exclusive work of art made with impeccable dedication to detail and quality materials, is another treasure in his collection. At a price tag of two to four million dollars, it has elegance and modern engineering mastered. An item which he owns and is known to the world is a W Motors Lycan Hypersport, which has been featured multiple times in the Fast and Furious movies by owning two Gulfstream G650ER planes, the world's fastest aircraft, and his luxury cars, Bezos is among the richest people in the world. Bezos is not the kind of person who doesn't want to invest in technology or gizmo. To prove his commitment to keeping high standards, he recently sponsored the development of the mechanical 10,000 years watch. Bezos has other goals that are beyond the earth. Through his company known as Blue Origin Aerospace, he is trying hard to open up space travel to the public. He is also proposing his vision for the future of the field. Bezos, who has a net worth of $205 billion, made the headlines when he revealed that he was going to step down as the Amazon CEO. This was a big step in his professional life. Bezos is a hard taskmaster who believes in doing his job to the best of his abilities. The youth often models themselves on people like him. He started from zero and he worked his fingers to the bone to create something out of this world. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest videos.